night's caftans in the kitchen, I cleaned out my fridge. Take a look. You know all of those veggies that you kind of have in the back? This I had to trim a little bit because she was not looking very pretty, this cabbage. Uh, and then a couple of carrots. Uh, we got a quarter of an onion. This is a recipe to use up all of that stuff for Earth Day. <laughs> and we got a couple nubs of ginger. Pow, pow. We got a couple, we got three garlic cloves. They were kind of the end of the barrel. Wow. Little marks on them. Okay, let's see how this goes. So we have a problem. <laughs> yes, I get points for not throwing out perfectly edible food on the heels of Earth Day, but how do I score when it comes to serving my friends almost garbage for lunch? <laughs> okay, Jess. So where did this idea for an almost garbage lunch do you um, guys from, remember mm -hmm. we had on Carly Bodrug on our show and she is a, a vegan a zero waste chef and she has 5 million followers and she did a whole spread on our show and we got a hold of her cookbook and thought, well, heck, this is a great idea to promote our Earth Day special on Monday mm -hmm. to try something to, that cleans out my fridge. It's a dumpling, right? Look, what is this? Well, yeah. yeah. Well, is it, yeah. Well, I'll tell you what it is. It's delicious. Is it really good? Yes. It's not bad. It's really good. It's not bad. It's really good. All I thought it was gonna be well, like a little um. When you put limp. the word garbage in a meal, <laughs> <laughs> you set us up for some low expectations, and this actually tastes pretty good. And I know you use a lot of bits from the fridge, but did you have to buy anything? I did have to buy a few things, so kind of was a consumerist. But with oh, the geez. tofu, which it's I messy. don't cook a lot with, so mm -hmm. I got to use tofu, and uh, the rice paper wrappers. Yeah. That was the only thing I bought, which is mm. kind of cool. Are, so, have you worked with rice paper before? Um, I have not, Mel. Okay. Oh. It was, and how was it? I, I'm sure a lot of people... I know. I've made a disaster of me. Don't look over here. <laughs> <laughs> Watch me eat. Don't look at me. Don't look away. Something. <laughs> rice paper was a lot of fun to work with, and I can't wait to work with it again. But I think a lesson I have learned is that the crispiness that you get right after you make it, mm. it doesn't last it the doesn't next day. The, the, the it doesn't travel. It does not travel. It's still really good, and this is totally 100% vegan. 100% vegan. Oh, girl. Look at you. I, I, I don't I'm know not missing that. the meat. I'm not missing it. Great. Yes. Yeah. What about the shape? How did you decide that you were going to shape it, I guess? Because that's way. what Carly did on her Instagram reel. Oh. <laughs> I just copied. Instead of, like, the cigar way, yes. right? mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I did it this way, which is like, a, what would you call it, a patty? Yeah, like a empanada. empanada? Okay. A I will say, a little something. I mean, it's it's very Asian-inspired. Uh, it feels like, I, it smells like I'm in my mom's kitchen. Oh, my God. And it's just the shape that's different, because she would maybe make a spring roll. Shape, so I'm just, I'm thoroughly impressed. Yep. I do have to say. Very that nice. is not how I expected too. things to go. Yeah, that's that's true. Backstage, you so were like, garbage. guys, no, it, it is not garbage. garbage. It's not garbage. It's delicious. No. This I is guess a I just lunch. can't mess up no matter how hard I try. Well, just as you said uh, earlier, you were talking about Earth Day, and the timing of this could not be better because you mentioned this. Monday, we are dedicating the whole show to Earth Day. <laughs> So don't miss mm -hmm. it. Uh, and for that matter, Captain's in the Kitchen on our Instagram page. That happens every other Thursday, so mark that down. Hey there, what did you think? Drop your comments below and join the conversation. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you can find more on everything from food and fashion to pop culture and current events. See you soon.